when you settle in and try to get the mind concentrated. It's called taking the one seat. The image is that there's a chair in your house. It's the only chair in the house. And you want to be the person sitting in the chair. Other people come in and out of the house. And as long as you're in the chair, you're in charge. If they take the chair, then they're in charge. They can order you around. So once you've taken the chair, you have to realize some of these people come in and they're friendly and nice and polite. Others are trying to take the chair away from you. Thoughts of the past, thoughts of the future, greed, aversion, and delusion. They have their ways of getting you to sneak out of the chair or sneak you out of the chair. It's like that story of Si Tanon Chai. He's a trickster in Thai literature. He's famous for playing tricks on the king. And one of his tricks was he was down in the river. The king comes along with his entourage. Standing on the bank, the king says, I know you're clever. You've fooled me many times in the past. But there's nothing you can do to get me to go down into the river. And Si Tanon Chai thinks for a minute and he says, You're right. But if you were in the river, then I could get you out. The king says, oh yeah, and goes down to the river. Falls for Sita Nunchai's trick. So watch out for your tricky thoughts. They will tell you that you have to think about them, or you want to think about them, or you're being irresponsible if you don't think about them, or that they're your thoughts, and therefore you should follow through with them. Every thought that comes in is unfinished, but you can tell enough from them whether they're relevant to your meditation or not. So if a thought comes in unfinished, you don't have to finish it. Just let it go dangling. You hold on to the one seat. That way, when you're in charge of your thinking, that's the right balance of power. If your thinking is in charge of you, it can order you around, get you to do things that you will later regret. Or at the very least, just waste your time. Here's your opportunity to focus on your mind as much as you can. This takes top priority here. So make sure you have that set of values well in place. That way when thoughts come in that are useful to your meditation, you can't tell them what to do. Think about this, evaluate the breath. Evaluate how the mind is related to the breath, where it's focused, what perceptions it has of the breath. These kinds of thing, thinking are useful. You can tell them to do your work for you. As for other thoughts, if they want to stand around, well, let them stand around, but you don't have to engage them. And after a while, they see that they don't gain anything by being around, so they go away. It's when you pay attention to them, when you find them interesting, that's when they've lured you out of your seat. So take the one seat and keep the one seat. Don't let anybody take it from you.